Hello, my name is Jim Miles. I'm a Dairy Advisor with Chagas Space in Tullamore County, Offaly. Today I'm uh, speaking at a calf care event and I'm dealing specifically with a uh, calf housing assessment where farmers at this event will be able to assess their accommodation for calf housing and if they find they have a deficit they, they have uh, options to consider uh, alternatives. So basically when we talk about calf space requirements there's two things we're looking at. We're looking at the lying area that they have and the air capacity. So the, basically the lying area we're looking at 1.7 per calf and in terms of the air capacity it's 7 cubic metres. The lower of these two figures dictate the amount of calves that you can house in a, in a particular shed. In this example here very quickly we have a, a, a standard shed here it's a 4.8 meters wide and the depth of that shed is 5.5 meters. If you multiply one by the other it gives you a floor space of 26 square meters. Dividing that by 1.7 means that this shed could on a dry lying area accommodate 15 calves. That's only half the calculation we now look at the airspace requirements so we're factoring in the height of the shed here now so we have the same air floor space we have a 15 foot or 4.6 meter average height three of those multiplied out together gives you 121 cubic meters of airspace divide that then by seven cubic meters requirement for calf it would indicate that this bay here would hold 17 calves. Because we have to take the lower of the two, the air would allow 17, the floor is 15, 15 calves is the maximum allowed in this shed. So now we're gonna look at alternative arrangements. So we have a list of them here. First off is modify existing sheds. Uh, group hutches and igloos are another option. Polytunnels, uh, outdoor shelters, and the last one here is contract rear. To my mind, the, the two most realistic and probably best options is uh, existing facilities and sheds around that could be modified, possibly with the likes of a concrete floor and channels to collect in a hay shed uh, or machinery shed, and also the contract rear, and I, I think people underrate that a bit, that that's a very realistic option. No matter what option you look at here, very important that any of these options must meet cross-compliance regulations that we don't want to be run into penalties in terms of cross-compliance. All concrete floors in all sheds and all runoff to be collected. So the take-home messages from today, first of all, we want people to assess what their requirements are for, in terms of accommodation and then to look at making alternative arrangements if they find that they're in a deficit in terms of accommodation. Uh, the, the, the really important thing is that we don't want people to overstock existing calf facilities. Really that's going to be only a recipe for disaster. So just to wish you all the very best of luck in the coming calving season.